let's try that again. Hopefully now my camera is facing the right way. Just wait for it to come up on the screen. Hey, that looks better. <laughs> let's wait for a few people to catch this up. Sorry, once again, apologies for that. A few technical issues with the uh, technology there. Hopefully now uh, you can see me better and hear me okay. You can just give me a quick hello in the comments. Natalie is manning the comments today. So, That's better. Uh, this stream yeah. actually looks like a proper stream. Oh, it did. I spoke too freaking soon. Oh, what's wrong with that? That's okay. It's gone all um, blurry. Hang on, let me see if I can help the system out a bit. I'll reduce the load a bit. If people can just let us know if the stream's looking okay. It looks a bit dodgy our end, so just to uh, check for us. that we've got. So good morning and uh, hope everybody is well keeping safe. So this morning I'm doing single colour vinyl. Um, as you can see from your screen I have a, a lovely orange sheet of vinyl which will become apparent why I picked that colour. I have my item I'm going to be adhering my uh, vinyl to. I have a sheet of transfer paper for transferring my design and I'm using the SDX this morning to uh, create our design on. So when we're all ready I shall start. Just pop me a hi in the comments just so let you let me know that you can see the stream okay after a few glitches. If your mum watches, and I'll say happy birthday. <laughs> she not saying? No, she's hiding today. Mm. But I might just open a new tab and see if I can oh. watch him like instead. Okay. So, first thing I'm going to go, I have my design saved to my USB, which I have over here, attached to my USB extension. Keep my right here, port nice and safe. Uh, I'm going to go to retrieve data. Yeah. I'm using the USB stick. And I know my design is a loose right at the bottom. And it's bringing your sunshine, which is what I'm using today. So it's retrieving the SVG. It's just warning me that the shape is actually larger than the mat, so the design that is <laughs> sent for me is huge. Um, so it resizes it and brings it in to my 12 by 12 size. They're going to go okay. I'm not going to cut it 12 by 12 obviously because that ain't going to fit on my little cup. So I'm going to go into edit and object edit and we're going to use resize and I know that my glass is roughly about three inches high so I'm going to go two inches for size so I'm bringing the height right the way down to two inches. this top corner and I'm going to press OK. I know. And OK. And I'm going to go to add and I'm going to put a box around it. Now this is known as a weeding box. Now this saves me using too much vinyl and making a waste of a nice clean 12 by 12 sheet. So I know I don't need it quite so big so I'll go about two and a half inches square and I'm 
just going to place that around our design. Might make that just a little bit bigger because it's. Close in that one inch. Well, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. So, wait. It's gone really pixelated. Sweetie, wait. Because yeah, okay. you're going to have to go back because people can't see that at the moment at all. Oh, it's gone blurry. Yeah. So, uh, I'll get in to go back and just repeat that last bit. So, that's just the weeding box. Can you repeat it in? It's not. It's not the camera. It's not it's, the camera. It's the. It's the actual feed. It's the connection. That's unusual okay. for our connection. Yeah. Um. Don't think there's much more I can quit off here to try and help it. Um. Let me see if I go back out of that and just go into that one. That one's alright. Yeah, but I was seeing it as other people were seeing you, so I. Just go back and just show that again, just in case. So from where? So from adding the weeding box and why you do it, because I don't know what the same quality was like for that station either, so. Okay. So I'll delete my box so I've just done Yeah. Redo. Don't forget, not all our members speak English. <laughs> and certainly not a lot of them speak Brummie. <laughs> not Brummie, you cheeky man. <laughs> so, again. We're going to add a weeding box, so this is so it stops the wastage of a full 12 by 12 sheet for one little piece. I now know I need my box roughly about 2.6 inches from the previous one I've just done. So I'll take that down to size. Can you let me know if you can see okay, please? Because our end is, well, yeah, chronic. You scroll up so you're not looking at the screen, look at the stream health. At the top, down a little bit. Okay. Yeah, it's some dropping frames. Sarah Lou says it's all good there, but this end it looks like a blurry hot mess. <laughs> okay, so. so if you need us to redo it at any point, just say, because I, I know not everybody is speaking fluent English in the group, so we're trying to be as clear as possible. Okay, so we're going to go set. Three, one, one. And then we're going to put our box around our design and I still need that a little bit bigger because I have a no I don't want that one. Edit. Object edit. Size. So let's go to three. That's better. So you can see, I don't know if you can see on the screen, I have a, enough space around all of my box, around all of my design. To allow me to weed it without catching any of my letters. Do you want to just um, zoom in so that it, people can see how much for... I don't know if we can or not. I will try. on that camera because obviously it's different to what you guys yeah. can see on this one. You may have to move it on. I'll flip to uh, Streamlabs. Yep, that's perfect. So you can see that you've got nice clear edge round all four sides. Yep. Pop that back up. 
Zoom in and zoom out. Yeah. Enjoy having an arm now. If you didn't have got a huge delay now because it's um, buffering. So, yeah. yeah. Careful. Okay. So, now we're going to cut this out of our vinyl. So, we've got it good side up. So, it's the side that we're cutting out on the top of our um, sheet. So, we've stuck the backing paper to the uh, mat. And this is our teaser vinyl. It's a pack that comes off. Move it back down a little bit towards you. Down a little bit towards me. Yeah, so that we can actually, it, the vinyl's just off the bottom of the screen. Yeah, so. Yeah. Do you want me to um, check on stream now? Yeah, so just this way. That's it. And maybe down a little bit. You do that and I can. That's okay. That's right there. Sure. Yeah, I'm not sure of the uh, flock on the bottom, so we'll get rid of that. That's right, I'll just move it down. Okay. There we go. Okay. So, I've put my blade in, which is our normal blade. And I'm going to go to OK. I've finished re uh, resizing and moving it. And OK again. And OK again. And we're going to please select up top. And we're going to, to cut. Now, before we start to cut, we're going to go to the settings. Because we're using vinyl, we only want it to half cut this. We only want it to cut the top layer and not the backing sheet. Um, we've already had a bit of a play with this, so we know settings. So, to get this to work properly, we had to put the half cut on. We've actually manually adjusted the pressure down to minus five. Um, we found from previous attempts that if we left it on just auto blade and half cut, it cut straight through the backing paper and the um, the vinyl. Um, we ended up, I'll show you our little test piece here. Um, this one at the top here was the first one we did on auto blade and just left it and you can see it's cut through most of the backing. And then we went through and tested it a couple of more times to get the right settings. So that's how we managed to get to where we were with minus five. Um, hopefully now, so we can see here on our screen, we've got, it's going to take five minutes to cut. There's a pressure of minus five, speed of one, and we have it on half cut. And it's going to cut. So we have that going, so we'll get that going. And let that go. Any questions while I'm doing that? Not the moment. Um, Trish joined us a bit late, so do you want to just go over what you've done so far? Yep, so morning Trish. Um, just a quick recap. Um, I've taken the design off my USB um, and resized it to fit the area of our, on my cup and then I put a weeding box so it's just a basic shape box around the outside of my box of shape design um, so I don't waste too much space on my um, sheet of vinyl and then on the machine I've just enabled half cut um, and taken the pressure down to minus five so that we only cut the top layer of the vinyl and not the uh, backing paper as well. If you're using a CM machine, not a DX, for cutting single coloured vinyl, um, we would still have your pressure down on about minus five, six, and your blader needs to be on one, two. You can always start on one, and if it needs to recut, just bring your blade down a little bit and cut it again. Sarah Lou says she never uses the auto blade for vinyl. No. Um, some people do, do use the um, thin fabric auto blade instead. Um, 
so that is an option. But uh, we found as long as you uh, adjust the pressure, it's, it's absolutely fine. It's no different to if you use the standard blade on the CM. It's a bit weird though, because when you're using it on the CM, um, I tend to adjust the pressure for how complicated the design is. So, for instance, we did a decal for a scooter that had characters, as in text, that what, probably about 5 mil, maybe a bit thicker? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so that was cut on minus 9. <laughs> and that was blade 1 as well, wasn't it, because it's the 651, so... It was the old call. Yeah. Once this is cut, I'm going to use my weeding tool just to check my weeding box and make sure it actually has cut. And then once it's done that, and I can unload my mat, I'm going to just change the stream briefly so it changes what goes to a cover screen. Uh, just while I take the DX out of the way, and I uh, make some space so I can do my weeding and uh, everything else. No, I do it as a whole sheet. And trim you your transfer sheet down. So you just do a little piece of transfer sheet. Okay. Oh, no. What? It's taking me out of my sunshine. No. Good uh, occasion to show uh, when things go wrong, what to do. You could just cut a knee. No. <laughs> yeah, but at least being on the end of the line, it'd be easier to line up than if you lost like the eye in the middle. See here, it's actually taken my E completely out, which is no good because I don't want that bit. I want the bit, I want the letters on the inside. So I'm going to be attaching to my. Uh, <laughs> so you can't have a good job like that because it's going to rip that out. You'll find out what they've done with that because it's probably from a blade. Not what I want it. Yep, there it is. Just to prove that it goes wrong for all of us. <laughs> what we'll do, if it does do that, we can lower the pressure. I'll take it down to minus six. Um, because I think the reason it's done it is the pressure's that little bit high. But to cut the rest of it perfect, which is Todd's law. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it down just one notch. People have a good chuckle at my our expense. Though. Yeah, mum. Uh, <laughs> Oh, uh, Chris, happy birthday. <laughs> no, I shall lower that pressure just a little bit more. So we're going into settings, take it down to minus six. I shall not forget to move my design over. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, I should be cutting it in the same place. But what I will do before I move it is group it. Mommy says thank you. That's all right. <laughs> so again, it's my edit. Select all. Okay. And object edit and group. So it's one. Press OK. Let's bring it over this corner where I know I don't cut anything. Go OK. Okay, select, cut, and let's try again. And then we're going to go start, and away it goes again.
further questions while I'm recutting my design. <laughs> To doing the two colour one, I will show you how you could just recut the and the lining it. Yeah, but you're more confident with that than the original. Yeah, I'll also show you reverse weeding because I don't mind doing that. Mind you, might need to <laughs> to save moving your ease. Reverse weeding is good to use when um, you're using any design that has lots of fine detail, unless you're not planning on keeping that. So if you've, for instance, got a shape where you've knocked out the text, then you don't have to worry so much, you can just do positive weeding and off you go. Yeah, I could just use the, uh, the negative, I think we stick that to <laughs> Yeah, you could cheat. You could cheat, so that would be the simple way. But well, you could show both ways now that you've got two. She's use the negative of the one that's missing the E on one side. Yeah, and then put the text on and the And then other. Do, do reverse weeding on the other one. <laughs> no, test cuts very rarely give you a, a true picture because they don't tend to have a test cut that can handle things like really thin detail. Um... And also, it depends on the the vinyl as well. Um, the RTs that just tend to want to stick to itself usually rather than the backing sheet, doesn't it? Mm. So it's not the easiest to read. Um, but they all have their, their different quirks, don't they? They do. Attack this time, so we're all right. The thing is, in these live streams, we'll show you little projects, but we've done huge projects with vinyl, so up to full size poker tables. That's fine. It, oh, I'm not sure fun is the word that I would um, use. <laughs> The first, the, the first time was literally blood, sweat and tears, wasn't it? Because, yeah. yeah. It was a bit stressful, yeah. Yeah. I actually done better this time. All my letters are intact. Hey. In terms of test cut shapes for vinyl, you're better off using the little triangle one and checking the tip of the triangle is not bent. So again, just going to check this top corner and make sure it's actually cut all my letters nicely. I can get away with that. Yep, yeah, that's fine. So I'll leave that stuck down for a moment. I'm going to take this off my mat and out the machine and then I shall be back in a moment, hopefully without a DX on my desk, and we'll go through the weeding and the sorting out process of putting it onto the, the glass. So I'll be back in a moment.
like hop on stream and share reverse weaving for you. So you do the positive one, then I'll do the reverse one. I Which one's you. the positive one? The left. This side? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because you're going to take the little letters out first so that you can take the negative off. So take all the letters out, weaving, yeah. and then put the... Sorry about that. There we go. Hopefully we should be back and you should be able to see my lovely mat. I'm going to take my vinyl off my mat. So hopefully we'll see it hasn't cut through the back. So there we go, we can see it's all still intact. Just pop the mat to one side. I'm going to sort this one out this side, and uh, Natalie's going to come and do the reverse one on this side. So, because she's brave like that. So, I'm going to take all my lettering out of this one and all the little bits, transfer it onto here, and I'm going to pop it onto my glass, ready to. Uh, I have your weeding tools here. That's okay. I'll get my scraper. I know that. I'll show the rest of it. Start with the as the E is already gone. Let's take the N out first. Do you want these letters to? No. No, no. no. Okay. <laughs> stuck to your finger. No, I can stay stuck to my finger for I was gonna say I usually end up sticking them to my finger and then roll them up at the end. Not forgetting to take a little uh, bit out of the eye. And like I said, you always end up with bits stuck to your finger after this, because otherwise you're forever finding bits of vinyl everywhere. The vinyl is quite forgiving, so if you do catch it and it pulls up a little bit, it will go back where it's supposed to. Any questions while I'm doing this? Not at the moment. The tool I'm using I call a dentist tool, it comes as part of a weeding kit, but um, well, this is part of a cricket set. Uh, you can get them. An old cricket set at that. Yeah, you, don't, you can't get it anymore. So. Can we not? No, not that not particular set. They've, uh, Discontinued the people it. we used to get them off don't do them anymore. We probably bought up the last of their stock. <laughs> You can get these on their own, um, either through our website, which we're currently updating the web on, I don't know. I need someone to stick my fingers through it. Now a weeding tool is really really sharp so you don't want to necessarily poke it on anything that you actually want to transfer because it will actually dent your vinyl. Yeah. You can get just a, a dentist tool set from eBay as well or um, there's a really nice rose gold weeding set on our Amazon store. <laughs> Pin. 
It's <laughs> right under the mute symbol on the teddy. <laughs> Sarah Lee says her, her favourite reading towards a pin. Hmm. I prefer the hook, to be honest. Or um, we did have a, a, a pokey tool with a bent end. It came with a bent end, I didn't actually force it that hard that it bent. So uh, we tend to use that for when we're out and about, don't we? Yeah. For demos and things. Well, we have a spare weeding kit, don't we? Because we, we have to. Yeah. Yeah, because usually what, we, what we'd be doing is we'd be out and about teaching, wouldn't we? And we would, normally. We teach all over the UK. Yeah, so we bring these classes to you rather than having to watch them online. And do them in the comfort of your own home. It's more than like you are now, are not it? <laughs> yeah, just usually we can actually guide hands so it feels very very strange So if you notice, if pieces do start to lift, Ian's using the curve of the hook to rub them back down and back into place. Because basically when we apply the transfer tape, we're going to lift the design up in one go. Okay, I can't see your ball patch just yet. No, that's good. <laughs> right, so if you're about to see your poking your tongue out when you're concentrating. <laughs> can't see me at all at the minute. No. transfer sheet. This has a handy little grid on it. But is that on the, actually on the transfer sheet or is it on the backing paper? It's on the, it's on the actual sheet. So if I stick mine under there for you. You can see we have a lovely purple grid. And that's handy for if you're doing any design with text to make sure that you get your text level. If you're going to use the grid at this point, make sure your grid's lined up with your text. So you probably want to bend. Okay. The teacher in me wants to come out and go, oh, bend, pat in the paper back. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
gonna lift it up from underneath, okay. The design that we're using, by the way, is from Design Bundles and it was part of the Mega Craft Kit 3 collection. Um, but it is. I can try to find where you'll be able to see it. She says. Okay, so the design itself is from Summer SVG Bundle 49 Summer. You're going to do clean the glass in a minute, aren't you? Yeah, you can see our design has come out quite nicely. There we go, get closer. Okay, so swap places. So you can do cleaning glass while I do. No, no, I can't, there's time for me over here, but we do that. So. Yeah, you can, you can do a, a, a clean the glass. Do it from that side. Yeah, you can watch you clean. Okay, so reverse weaving. Just gonna apply this over the top. Weeding, what you're going to do is you're going to pick up everything, including the outside of your weeding box. And this is because you want to make sure that everything is adhered in the right place on your transfer sheet. Okay. Now remember, your vinyl at this point is really, really, really sticky. So, very carefully, I'm going to work from the, actually I'm going to work from the little, little sections, so I'm going to take out the centre of my O, actually instead of sticking it to me, I'm going to stick it to me, uh, and the light box at this point can be useful, but as it's in the front room at the moment. Whilst Natalie's doing that, I'm just going to discuss briefly cleaning your glass and prepping it if you're using glass um, for applying your vinyl. So you want it to be nice and clean. This one's got a few marks on the outside, sticky patches. So I've got a little bit of alcohol in here, in, uh, it's rubbing alcohol, not the drinking sort. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a bit on my glass and I'm going to grab a bit of towel. I'm just going to give that a clean, just to get rid of any imperfections on the outside of the glass. Now, usually I'd only do 
get us to the bit that we're applying vinyl to, but as we're putting it on both sides for today, I'll go all the way around. You can see there, just doing a good clean. Make sure there's no sticky bits. Get some loose marks on the inside because they're not coming off. They are. So the water marks that are dry on the inside from when that is had water in the cup. I'm not watering it, it's where you wash it up. <laughs> so that's nice and clean on the outside. There's no imperfections on there. There's no sticky bits anymore. So it's nice and clean. So that's ready for us then to uh, apply our vinyl to. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm slowly lifting out our outside section. And to start with, you're going to want to just press down lightly on your leading edge because you don't want it to lift away too much from your backing sheet for the bits that you're going to keep. Now remember you're pressing down on the back of the vinyl so you don't have to be quite so careful but you still want to be not perforating through the sheet. Okay, then once you get to about there, you can start to pull it away little easier. Come on little eye. There's always one. <laughs> and slow and steady is the aim of the game. Okay. So with your G, you just want to give it a little, come on, give it, there we go. Anything that has a tail is typically a pain in the um Any more questions? Don't worry. One naughty bit of sunshine. There's <laughs> <laughs> okay. one. Come on, stick down. I'm just going to put my foot there. Your eyes not gone. Yeah, I'm getting there. No, no, it's just you want you to miss your eye. Patience is everything. <laughs> adhering, safe changing over again, just to speed. Yep. So, I'm going to go for mine first. So, if you've been good and applied your grid so it is level to your design, you can then use the line on your grid just to work around your glass. Now when you're first starting with applying onto a rounded surface, try and make sure that you're going for something parallel sides or as close to as possible. Um, if you start on baubles, you're going to get disheartened very quickly. <laughs> so you're just going to burnish everything down well. Now we can just... Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, 
house are clean. <laughs> okay, so there's our one version. And just because you ended it, I'm going to do the other side. Before I do, uh, I need the chisel knife out of the reading kit just to tidy up this bit here. So if you do find your calibration slipped off, you can just do... But that's why I like this little scraper because it's a, a like pad one. You can just go back into it and you can just press it down. You don't want to rub at this point because otherwise you, you're gonna. It's good for getting any little stamp. Go careful not to scratch your glass with your tool, and that's tearing a bit, that's why. Get off me. I'm check for 20 minutes so I can see where I'm going. Slice gun when I want it. <laughs> Thank you. Just hiding. Considering that was on high pressure. Mm. That thing. Right, so. Yeah, the lower pressure down. gets it better. Yeah. That'll do, because I can't see it without, I think when I should hold it up to the light I can't see it, so get a torch in it later and finish it off. Okay, so there's our reverse weeding and our positive weeding. That's it for today, isn't it? And yep, that's it for today. And I'll show you the accompanying bottle to go with it. It's not tomorrow, is it? It's yeah, there. tomorrow. Is it? Yeah, tomorrow. Might do in the morning and the afternoon shift tomorrow then. <laughs> no, tomorrow afternoon you have... Tag up. My old tag mini album tomorrow. Oh, so it must be Thursday then, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so Thursday you're doing multicolours, yeah. Yeah. Yes, because Friday you're doing HDV, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. I must be mad. <laughs> so, yeah. So tomorrow you need something a bit bigger to put your... Not tomorrow. Thursday. Thursday, you need something bigger to put your vinyl on because we're going to be working with um, multicolours. So using. we are using, once it's dried out, a nice big bottle. So you, you, you're going to want a decent amount of space to work with because obviously the smaller your design, the trickier it's going to be for you to do the registration. Okay. Two o'clock? Yep, back at two with a introduction to affinity. Designer. Yep.
yeah, designer, not publisher or photo. So, yeah. If you would be interested in a beginner um, in Affinity Photo or publisher, let me know and I can add that onto our list. It's slowly getting longer and longer every day. <laughs> Trish says it looks great, thank you. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay, I got like that. Yeah, quite funky, isn't it? It is. Mind if the glasses would be first up and we first moved in together. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, okay. <laughs> press the button on your little thing that says back at two. Uh, yep. Yeah. And we'll be back at two o'clock.